This just came out without the family's opinion on it. And by the way, I would love to hear what Pop Smoke's mother thinks about this. Because if you guys don't know, um, the producer who's infamously known for working with Pop Smoke, Rico Beats, somebody messaged him to say, yo, Rico, please give us some new news and some updates on what the fuck is going on with, with the remaining Pop Smoke music. And they said, this is what Rico Beats is saying, yo, who said he had music left? And he continued by saying, yo, listen, what else y'all want? Pop died three years ago. How much more music do you think he had in one year? Y'all got to be real. Then, you know, the person said, yo, well, none of the snippets with Guapo or the one Mike D played ever came out. I know he was a beast, but yo, yo, like, well, you can't expect much more. And the producer basically said, yo, all them records, they use Chip so many ways, his vocal. I don't even know what that means. All them records, they use Chip. Um, so many ways his vocals and say if pop was alive he would not approve 99 percent of the stuff they put out so essentially there, we have a producer saying that there's not much more pop smoke vocals and pop smoke recording on the things that we would expect it to be on so um I, i'm kind of wondering how much the family's in tune with this because not saying this isn't true. I just wouldn't expect to hear this from anybody but the family. It's the family's, um, you know, it's the Pop Smoke estate, which is owned by the family now. They get to know and get to control all the music, and they should know how much music he has or how much music he doesn't. Now, clearly, like, you know, you got to take the producer's opinion into to consideration when he says Pop would have never released it because he's worked with Pop in a, in a, in a music capacity where, he could probably give a good estimate of like, oh no, pop, pop, if pop did a verse like that, he would just do it over type shit. So we gotta take their um, whatever they're saying into account. For me, I'm just a little bit like, damn, are we are we out of Pop Smoke's music? Now that kind of goes into the conversation about like AI shit. Like I said to a couple of people who have even came to my studio, I'm like, yo, I think. Shit, I don't know if maybe King Von, but it's like, I think an artist who's arrested, like, for example, not saying Pushaisi, but I'll just use my example. If Pushaisi was locked up for, like, say, like, 18 years, and, you know, people obviously love his voice, people love, like, what he raps about, like, he's, he, a lot of artists are in jail currently still creating music, they just can't get a good mic to record it, but they could do, like, a little demo or something like that on a jail phone. Why not use the AI to, like, bring their vision to light now it's different if they died and you're guessing what their vision would be but like what about if you know push was just like yo i wrote a bunch of stuff i just can't get a good mic and i can't get whatever whatever to make this really happen yo you produce or you come up with the 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 shit for these lyrics i got i think that's valid so i do i do see the help in ai i think some people don't see that at all you get what i mean again as long as the music is sanctioned by the by the artist or at worst the family of the artist why are we why are we upset i wouldn't be upset you know what i mean um i think it's going to be used for people who are who either pass away suddenly or it's going to be used for people who are um in situations or or conditions where they can't record themselves which would probably okay either pass away or you are in jail so hopefully we still get more music, but if you listen to this producer, we won't get any more music from Pop Smoke. Um, you know, somebody hit me up. They were like, yo, I guarantee Cleo was wrong, rubbing her hands. She about to get a bunch of XAIs. Um, I don't know if that would necessarily work, especially w the wave that X was on. I just can't see somebody making songs that would make it uh, sound authentic. And by the way, a lot of things that X did was more than just music. It was just like, it felt connected to um, a movement more than just music. So we'll see what that is. All right. By the way, I think Timbaland recently.